Welcome to another edition of Friday's Finds. I sure appreciate you stopping by, Dude RV. If you enjoy product review content, I do this just about every Friday. That's why it's called Friday's Finds. I create virtual scooter tours of campgrounds, and I'm on a mission to document every public campground in the Southwest. Currently focused on the state of Texas. But for today's edition of Friday's Fine, we have a theme, and that theme is burning wood. <laughs> we're gonna burn some wood. And we're gonna start off with, with this. This is the East Oak box. It says it's a fire gathering ring, a burning disc kit. Actually, let's just open the box and take a look at what's in it. That'd be the easiest, that'd be the easiest way, right? First thing that East Oak wants you to know is they are available for support. I actually have a phone number to call and a website to visit. They're gonna help you burn wood. Let's let's open this box up and see what's inside. Look at this. Certificate of authenticity, authenticity, a unique product ID. You scratch that off. And we have a pan stove owner's manual. That's nice. And then they have a QR code so that you can Get your product registered. That's really nice. Okay. fire poker that's that's handy because that'll help in transportation transport especially in the RV we have the ash burning the burning pan that's that's very nice. Uh, we have the upper ring. completely round on the outside. And there we go. Now all we need is some wood and a way to start the fire. So let me work, let me read the instructions first, gather up the rest of the stuff that I need, and then we'll burn some wood. I needed to tell you this before we went any further. I was reading the owner's manual in the East Oak fire pit. Has a three year warranty on it. No wonder they put their number on there. They really want to help you burn wood. How cool is that? All right, I'm still gathering my other stuff. I'll be back. We're talking about burning some wood and more specifically burning wood in the East Oak 
smokeless pan stove. That's what we're talking about. We gotta get some wood. To start a fire, the, you want kindling, and the best way to get kindling is to take a bigger log and make it into smaller pieces. And for years, I used an axe or a maul, a splitting maul for that, but I was always worried about my toes, because if that you one slip of that axe and you're missing toe. I have found a kindling splitter. I love this thing. It's it. It's a toe saver for sure. Instead of swinging an axe, you're just swinging a little three pound sledgehammer or you can go bigger. I have a six pound sledge with a long handle for the really, really tough stuff. It works really good. Fits in the toolbox of the truck. Now we're ready to build a fire. When I build a fire, and, and I always have these on, on hand, it's one of my preferred ignition tools is a fire puck from Chefco, the Chefco fire starters. Break them into four pieces. You can start four fires with one of these. So we're gonna, we're gonna put that, uh, and this will light wet or dry. If you've got damp wood, this will get it going. So I'm gonna break this into four pieces. I'm gonna set the camera on time-lapse because the good folks at East Oak said that as this heats up, we're gonna develop a blue patina on our stainless steel. Each one is unique and different. So I'm gonna set up a time-lapse and we're gonna, we're gonna we're gonna get it hot, we're gonna watch it change, and then we'll come back and talk about the East Oak Pan Stove. I have flint and steel. I have matches. I have a lot of different ways to get a spark. My favorite way is the easiest way. This is a burns o PS4000. We are lit. So now we just watch it burn.
fascinating how the the wood gas is burning coming out of the side walls right here you'll see where the gas is coming out of the the middle right of that the air wall I guess you'd call it because there's there's a double wall that gets it gets hot and as the wood is being combusted it's actually releasing a gas it's, and that is being combusted as it exits the top of that ring where those those holes are right there very fascinating and that that's, man it is putting out some heat too Here we are after dark. Burning nicely. Putting out a lot of heat. So we'll check it back in in the morning. The next day. So the fire's, the fire's pretty well just burned out. All the wood is gone. We have nothing but ash left. And we have this really cool patina now. All the way around. Kind of a golden brown. We need to get the ash out. Get the ash out! So East Oak provides the fire poker in the kit. And it has a hook so that you can Look at that. How cool is that? It's not it's not hot. I could handle this with my hand, but no need to get my hands dirty. And now we're ready to do it all over again. Wood ash is, is very acidic, so it's good for the grass. Especially if you have alkali soil like I do. The East Oak Pan Stove. I like it. There is one thing I really wish they had included with this, and that is a, a lid, so that when we're done with fire, we can put a lid on that, and we don't have to worry about, you know, because we, we, we live up on Windy Hill, and... Sometimes the wind blows 20, 30 miles an hour non-stop. Uh, so having a, a lid to put on that when we're, we're finished, I, I, I don't hold, have fires when I got really high winds. But the winds can kick up after we're done outside. So it'd be nice to be able to put a lid on that. That's, that's the only real, and it's not even a complaint it's a desire that's the only thing i would really change on the east oak pan stove and i don't know that i could improve on either one of those the fire starter the chef goes you need that and if you're trying to split wood you really need one of these little splitters brings us to the end of the burning wood edition of friday's fines i hope you found it entertaining informative and if you did in any way shape or form please click on that thumbs up that really helps with the youtube algorithm if you've not already i'd be most honored gotta get some better light out here if you've not already i'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button if you like this kind of content i i, I do a friday's finds just about every friday and i also do camping videos and rv videos and I do a lot of videos. <laughs> anyway, I'd be honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button. And for those of you who have been following along, thank you. I am most grateful. And for my patrons, I am truly appreciative. You rock! All right, y'all come back now, you hear?